So it's just interesting. I, I, I wonder about that element of you because you go into this camp and you're not somebody that it sounds like was super driven to necessarily be. It's not like you thought as a young child, like, I'm going to be a fighter. That's what I am. And, yeah, yet you, and, and yet you find yourself in this crazy camp where people that have probably trained and have an aspiration to be a fighter are quitting five minutes in because they can't hack the squats. I've always found you a fascinating person because you are so different. I just wonder, like, what what is your mentality? Like, how do you get through that kind of stuff? Like, where how does a guy that goes from just trying to see how this is going to go end up being one of the guys that makes it to the end? You're in this crazy situation. How, how do you have the mental fortitude to do that? And what, what goes on in your head during those moments and pushes you through? I think maybe in some ways it, it reveals itself to you. Uh, and some okay, people interesting. might not, they might not realize that they have the capacity to do something. I think because I saw it as being something so special, something that yeah. I was so intrigued with, with the sports, like I stand the chance to actually become a part of something. And, you know, when you're, when you're, you know, like a kid, like 19 years old, like that sounds like a pretty amazing thing. The prospect of moving to California, training with a pro team, um, be, being around uh, like such, such an incredible uh, community. Um, there's like, yeah, like I, I want it bad enough that I'm willing to sacrifice and put in the time. So I, I was practicing the squats. I was doing all sorts of conditioning just to prepare myself for it. But I think. Sure. You don't truly know until you actually get there and, and you get into it, right? And I think because of that drive of, of wanting to, to see it through and actually be a part of it, um, I think in that first element, doing those squats, I felt the fatigue. I felt everything that everybody else did as well is just I somehow was able to conjure up that, that, that tenacity to say, no, I'm good to go and I'm going to keep pushing through it. And I think when you, when you win that mental war, uh, it's pretty incredible the things that you can accomplish. Oh my God, absolutely. It's just, I find it so fascinating because it's such a, like, you know, my my rise sort of to getting to uh, into jujitsu and stuff was very unlikely. So like the thought of me at that age doing something like that and having that that drive and that fortitude, I, it's just beyond something I could comprehend because I just, I wasn't anywhere near that. I was far too weak mentally. It's just, I find it really interesting when people seem to be able to find themselves at such a relatively young age in such an insanely difficult sport, you know? I mean, you were so big and helping me in California, which we can get into, but you just seem to have a lot of these tips and tools and tricks to kind of get through that. Is that something that you felt like you had back then or you were just kind of winging it and just trying to just trying to make it through any way you could? Or did you have these mental tools in place to help you deal with the suffering of that of that tryout in those moments? I would say being in California was it was an evolution in that you start to build that confidence and you have that that drive and that motivation. So I know um, I absolutely channeled that experience and then put that into other elements of my life. So getting back into education because I, I went back to college at like 20, did well and realized this is not about um, you know like how how say like naturally bright uh, one could be. Like there's people who they don't need to look at the books and and they get the marks. Yeah, I'm not those people yeah but having the work ethic to put in that time to to learn what i need to do however long it took i was willing to put in that 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 time and you know same thing with 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 with, with being um uh, a first responder like i was willing to pursue the job and put in the work to um to get there and it was, it was the work ethic but i would say um lived experience uh is is really kind of what um, kind of shaped my, my perspective when it comes to like, um, like mental preparation such. It was, it was actually a tragedy. Unfortunately, I, lo I lost a friend on the job, oh, um, in, in the fall of 2005, September 15, 2005. And, uh, that, that was incredibly tough. So I think, um, seeking out, um, the, those tools to build tenacity and build resilience, it was a necessity. And yeah. because of that, I definitely, um, pursued it and in, 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 in like believed in it very strongly and practiced it. And then from that point, realizing the, the value that it has, not only do I continue to do it, but I'm going to continue to reach out and, and try and draw on uh, more resources to continue to build right. myself up and then do what I can to share, right? Because if you see someone else that, this, that, that you believe could be a benefit, you, you kind of almost feel duty bound to say, Hey, yeah. this, this could really help you out. And 
I mean, we've talked like many times since since California and, and some of the some of the the, the strategy that we kind of worked on, like for the mental prep and uh, the stuff that that uh, I've been working on now for probably about five months, like since since uh, the pandemic started. It's just it's it's like it's life changing. 